Hello there, my great, great followers. How are you today? Thank God that we are here today. I want to thank all of you that have been following me since the beginning of this class, especially this particular topic, trigonometric ratios. Today, I want to look at uh, trigonometric identities. But before we proceed, I want to thank all of you that have been following me since all this work. I pray that God will continue to bless your husband. And don't forget that at the end of this today's class, please subscribe, share, so that other communities that need this particular topic can enjoy it and pass their exams. Those of you in advanced level, those of you that want to write jam, those of you in statistics class, because I know that in this, my channel, this is where you can learn physics, chemistry, further mathematics, with an ease, without struggle. So let's proceed with this particular topic. So today, the first one we shall look at is sine theta is equal to cos 90 degree minus theta. Two, cos theta is equal to sine 90 degree minus theta. Sine theta is equal to cos 90 degree minus theta. Imagine this. These are identities. What is an identity? An identity is just a what? A unique expression you can use to solve another problem, especially when you are facing another problem in world in the world of what mathematics. Now let's check from the first one. Say proof. How can this sanctita become this? Half, 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 half. Now sine. That's the number one. Sine theta is supposed to cause ninety degree minus two. Don't forget our chart. This is what? A right angle triangle. A, B, C. Now let's name this place alpha because we are proving an identity. So we can name this place letter A, letter small c, and letter B. This is the equivalent size. This will be the opposite size. Anywhere the angle is facing is the what is the opposite side. So now let's check. Sine theta. Remember, is what opposite over what I put in. Opposite over I put in. It's equal to cos alpha. Is it true? Let's see. Sine theta is cos alpha. How? Look at it. Opposite. Hey, sorry. Adjacent. Adjacent. So this is the adjacent side over what I put in. A over B. Do you see that? So theta is cos alpha. That means we have A over B and A over B. So therefore, is the same thing as what? Cos 90 degree minus theta. It is obvious. You, because in order for us to get this angle, we must subtract it from 90. That's why you are seeing it to be cos. Because this and this, they have what? The same identity. So let's move to number two, which is cos alpha to what? Sine 90 minus theta. Cos alpha is equal to sine. 90 degree minus theta. Let's check from here. Now remember, cos theta is what? Adjacent. I, where is the adjacent of this side? This place. C hypotenuse. So we have C over B. It's equal to sine alpha. Is it true? Let's check. It's equal to sine alpha. Sine is what? Opposite over what? Hypotenuse. As you can see, we have the same. So which is at the end of the day, we have sine what? 90 degree minus theta. And see, tan theta is equal to cos 90 degree minus theta. Remember that tan theta is what? Opposite over what? Adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. A over C. And which is cos alpha. Remember that cos alpha is the reverse of our tan theta. Because we have tan theta on its own to be sin theta over cos theta. Then, cos theta on its own is 1 over tan theta. So, cos, so that means this one will now be cos theta over what? Sin theta. You see, the reverse of this is this. So, we now have cos 90 degree minus theta. Number four, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, look at this expression. Remember, we are dealing with a, an identity. And I told you that is what? It's a unique expression that you can use to solve another one. Especially for those of you in uh, architectural engineering and mechanical engineering. Please, don't joke with this particular topic. 
Remember, I told you from the beginning of this page that an algebraic equation is an expression that have an equal sign. That means the left hand side is equal to the right hand side of this equation. That is, this is equal to one. How? 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 How can we do that? We can do that now. Now, we know that this is one, this is one, and this is what square root two. For those of you that have been following this page, go and check my previous class. You will discover that one square plus one square root two is square root two, according to Pythagoras' rule. So now let's move. Sine square theta is equal to what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Then cos square theta is equal to what? Adjacent, adjacent over hypotenuse. So this plus this will give you one. That is what it's trying to say. So we now have one over square root two square plus one over square root two square is equal to one times one, one over root two times root two will give you four plus one over root four as well. So at the end of the day, we have one over two. And four is two plus one over two, which is what? One. Good. So therefore, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Good. Do you see that now? So now let's move to number two. You say one plus tan square theta is equal to six square theta. How? How? This is equal to this. And at the same time, this is equal to this. Anyhow. So let's say we start from the left hand side now. Remember, this is the left hand side. It's equal to the what? The right hand side of this equation. So we have one plus tan square theta. One plus, remember that tan square theta has an identity to be what? Sin theta over cos theta. So we now have sine square theta over cos square theta. This is this. Because we are trying to check whether this is equal to this. So at the same time, we can find the LCM of this. So we have cos square theta. Cos square theta in one is cos square theta. So cos square theta times one will give you what? Cos square theta plus, this divided by this will give you what? One times this sine square theta. <laughs> Remember, I also said that cos square theta plus sine square theta is one. So therefore, we cannot have one over what? Cos square theta. And the inverse of this is what? So therefore, one plus tan square theta is equal to what? Six square theta. Good. Square theta. How again? So one plus now you know I told you just now that cot is the inverse of tan. So this is cot is one over tan square theta. This expression is this. We are dealing with identity. So they have function. Do I'm still going to the geometric function, but let's start with this first. So now this on its own is also one over sine square theta over cos square theta. All these are the same thing with this. So we now have one plus cos square theta over what sine square theta. So we find the Hessian. The SM is what? Sine square theta. Sine square theta in one is what? Sine square theta plus cos square theta. So remember as well, this plus this will give you one. If you are following me, one over the And at the same time, the inverse of sine will give you what? Cosec. Proved. So, therefore, one plus cot square theta is equal to what? So let's look at one word example here. For those of you that want to write jam, nutpeb, whatever it is that you want to write. So he's saying that uh, one minus cos theta over one plus cos theta is equals to cosec minus cot theta square. 
how that should prove prove that this is equal to this this is equal to this please i told you from the beginning of this class that this is an identity it's a unique one this is also an identity it's a unique one so now how can we know whether this would be equal to this now let's check it one minus cos theta over one plus cos theta we can do that with the help of algebra i told you now multiply both the numerator and the denominator by one minus cos theta. Now, one minus cos theta over one plus cos theta times one minus cos theta over one minus cos theta because I said that you should multiply both the numerator and the denominator with this in order to make it easy. So when you multiply this with this, you now have one minus cos square theta. One minus cos theta square all over. You now this is difference of in sign, plus and minus. So you cannot have one minus cos square theta. So at the end of the day, we now have one minus cos theta square all over one minus cos theta square is an identity. It's equal to sine square theta. Do you accept? Because I told you from the beginning that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Sine square theta is equal to one minus cos square theta. Did you see that now? This is an identity that you can use to replace all these functions. So. 1 minus cos theta square all over, replace this with this, sine square theta will be, look at this expression, this is 1, this is this. so we can have 1 over sine theta minus cos theta over sine theta square. They are the same, right? Yes, because this is sine square theta. We clear the bracket, then this over this. So at the end of the day, we cannot have one over sine theta is the same thing as what the inverse of what cosec. So we cannot have cosec theta minus cos theta over sine theta is cos. Cool. So that is that about today's topic: trigonometric identities. So if you are enjoying this class and you are following it judiciously, please, I want you to subscribe, share, and drop anything on the comment section so that I will throw more light on any of the identities that you don't understand. Bye -bye.